Hello everyone, my name is Shepard and today we're going to be playing in the Butcher Circus against the Darkest One opponent, someone I've never seen before. And we're going to be playing our Occultist Stress Team again. Alright, already I see this guy taking a very interesting team. So what do I think he has? He definitely has a support kind of flagellant, having Suffer, Reclaim and this. But he doesn't have a single offensive ability, he doesn't have punish, so if I leave him for last, it's game over. Same thing with the Plague Doctor, if I leave her, leave her for last. His game plan is probably going to be to buff up this Highwayman. I think that's what his game plan is going to be. So I'm going to start off kind of slow with a bolster, because his Flagellant's going to be wanting to use an Exsanguinate, and I'm not going to let him. Also because I need more time to think on what I'm going to do. But yeah, I think his game plan is definitely to buff up this Hammer Man as much as possible. We're playing against the Darkest player. Actually, I think I've played against this guy once or twice. Now that I'm looking at the name up there. I'm going after my Flagellant right away. Bit of a madman if you ask me, but... Um, should I use the Bulwark of Light? That is the question. Considering that I'm probably gonna have to eat some reposts. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Bulwark. I'm going to take the Bulwark of Light, so we're going to see, oh, he's actually going to try to move around my um, my friend here. They have that plus dodge, right? Yeah, they do. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I'm probably going to try to bully the Plague Doctor. Doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. Uh, the problem with my occultist being in position 2 is that I can still use the pull, but I can't use the artillery, which is what I really want to do. I want to take full advantage of that abyssal artillery. Yeah, this is a complete like support flatland. Kind of crazy. Um, now, disrupting him is not going to do anything. How about disrupting her? Yeah, I'll kind of disrupt her, but... Uh, maybe do a weakening curse? I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull her. The horror is nice, it's 40. Yeah, the horror. It's good. Holy lands. I have... I have a lot of dodge. That should probably not have hit, but... Yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah, I have 40 dodge. What was his accuracy? 90? 90 again. It's a 50-50 and he gets it again, man. This madman. Doing very reasonable damage to my 40%, 20% protection as well. Kinda crazy how lucky this guy's being. If you ask me. I'm gonna keep the occultist turn for now, so I have a chance of healing myself when it uh, comes to that. Vendetta, does it do 3 damage? No, it does not. Good. But yeah, my dodge is gone now. Um, hmm. Should I exhaust the Flagellant's healing? Maybe not, maybe that's not the best idea. Do I want to take a repost though? Ah, I guess it's not too bad. Oh, it's opened up my healing, so... That's not terrible. Wish I hit the harm and got the bleed though. That would have been nice. I don't even care about taking... Um... Oh, he removed the bleed by bleeding himself. That's right, Suffer. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now we're gonna do something very smart. We're gonna pull her again. And what does this do? Well, this pretty much destroys his team because... Jeez, crit heal for 12. Goodness. Yeah, uh, now he's gonna have to... I mean, he can't holy lands with the Crusader because of the Flagellant, so... 
I mean, he still can. The Fudgeant isn't doing anything special. But this kind of disrupts him. Kind of. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a nice spell, though. To reduce his damage. Oh, it's gonna be impossible to uh, stress this guy out. Yeah, minus 40% stress taken. But it's gonna be goddamn impossible. Uh, do I heal? That's the question. The answer is yes. I heal for 17. Not bad. That's one redeem down, but I think it's worth it. Does that get rid of the horror? Oh, it does. Dang. Brutal. Well, let's stress her out like this then. Six. Thirty stress, not quite enough. Yeah, not quite enough. Um, I have plus healing skills. I'm gonna go heal myself. Uh, nine. Not great. Not terrible. Yeah, you can just do that. Hey, he moves me back. Good. 35 stress is insane though. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Oh, what's he doing? Ah. He knows both my characters are dazed, so wow, this guy really is Darkest One. He didn't care about his flanchant being at death's door because I don't have an ability to check him out of death's door. No, to like actually get a death blow. Very smart because he knew both my characters are dazed. You'd be surprised how many people forget to look at uh, the opponent's dazed characters. Redeem. Yeah, this is gonna be a really close fight. 30 heal because of the last breath color and madness. Uh, well, she's gonna get that, um, that healing either way. You know what? I might just exhaust his healing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to exhaust the hell out of this flashlight. Usually not the best thing to do, but that's what I'm gonna do with my own flat ones. Oh no. No! My occultist. He's gone irrational. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Minus dodge, who cares? I guess he's gonna go afflicted too. That's right. Hopeless versus irrational. There can be no hope in this hell. Minus sixty percent damage. Don't forget. <laughs> Still does thirteen. Holy shit! He has minus sixty percent damage. How does he still do thirteen? My God. Oh, he does enough. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. <laughs> nice. Let's go, occultist for the win. Thirty heal. Hell yeah. I think we got the max heal, twenty-four, because we had like the crit for better healing. <laughs> Very nice. Oh my god. He's really gonna do that. Mm, 
Yeah, that's enough to put him to death still. I'm gonna force him to use like an Xang or something. Oh, I wish he had used that like on the on the Crusader. It would have been kind of useless. Um. Hmm. He has minus healing, but I still don't want to give him a reason to like do anything at all. If he gets to bleed on my Crusader with that Exsanguinate, I might as well just call it game over. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put some hurt on his crusader, but I still doubt he goes for a redeem on that because it's not worth it. He has to exsanguinate and I have a lot of bleed resistance. He's probably gonna go for the cultist, but... Oh, he's mad! Oh no, he, he he's expecting to survive! Do I have anything that death blows? Not quite, but I have a little crusader here with 55% prot. That's one. Taking risks. He still has minus healing skills, so whatever he does, it's still weird. Okay, he's gonna exsanguinate me. <laughs> of course he gets a crit heal. Critic sang crit heal. Oh, just enough healing. Ah, oh, my goodness, man. The luck. The luck is beyond me. Nice. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness. Eighteen. Themselves. Good. Oh, we bleed though. Dang. Dulcet fans. I'm gonna bleed out anyway. I don't feel like he had to do that. But yeah, whatever. Uh, he's gonna take twelve bleed. Keep his damage down and keep the stress up. He's gonna inspiring cry himself. Yeah, kind of expected that. Please move back. Oh, okay, that's even better. I'm gonna keep focusing the platform, maybe. Wait, that's a stupid idea. I'm. Um, I feel like I have not taken this game in the best direction. I'm just saying. Didn't know Irrational could do that. Huh. Yeah, that's a cultist for you. Yes, plus bleed skill chance. I would go for an Exsanguinate. Okay, he's gonna go for a climb. Alright. He's gonna fall to death's door next round anyway. Uh. Demands 
I'm gonna try to guard him. I may have done a mistake with the turn order, but I'm gonna try to guard him. I'm I'm banking on surviving a death blow. Fuck. We didn't. Uh, I'm getting a little bit concerned because I did not play this the right way. But I still think I'm in a position to win. Yeah, you can yeet the horror away. Oh my god. Stam Crusader and his heels. To 13 means I don't force him to heal. Yeah, he can just do that, and next turn he's gonna have a big healing coming. This is not turning out how it should at all. All one bit. Playing the base game has distracted me from my true longing, the Butcher's Circus. Oh my god, dude. Just regen with the freaking flagellant thingy. And and cure herself as well. Oh my god. This team is annoying. If I go for this right now, I'm pretty much killing myself, but I can't believe he dodged as well. Oh my god. He's going for an insane grenade. <laughs> Five. Of course he gets another crit. At least no bleed. At the very least, no bleed. Oh, he has a chance for a death blow. Wait, dodge. Just enough, again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to guard this. I go first next round, so that Plague Doctor might be dead. She's very likely dead. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. Uh, unless he heals with the Crusader right now. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. I got two bleeds on you. Uh, oh, that's right, I was dazed. 
He has a decent chance of getting a death blow on my flagellant right now. But if I heal, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't do enough damage. He has minus damage and I have 30% prompt. <laughs> Fuck man, he does enough! Again! Can you stop? Jesus. Always doing enough. Can I trust myself? Wait! Haha! He doesn't have a character to attack. That's right. I too can play that game. He doesn't have a character to attack with. Because Holy Lance only goes up to position 2. That is right. Yeah, he's gonna inspiring cry again. Good job. Gonna use my second redeem, please crit. No crit, still big. Only has one bellow debuff now. Oh, big boy damage. He's forcing himself to heal stress. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna work? It's gonna work out well for him. I do. 20 stress while he heals like 30. And gets virtue chance on top. Now let's not forget that he's likely to get a virtue. He doesn't have a chance of getting virtue, he's likely to get one. So it's one exsanguinate and one redeem. Uh, if I do damage to the crusader, he's just gonna heal him. Well, he's gonna drop to death stall right now. Really? Interesting. Sanguinates my guy. I have 70% protection. But I actually need to do this first. have a character to attack with, does he? No, he doesn't. Let's go for that stress. <laughs> Crit for 8. Yeah, still way too much damage for Bellow debuff, 70% protection. Oh my god, that damn ability, man. It's pissing me off. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? That's right. Use your bleed, use your healing again. Dodges. God fucking damn it, that's the second zealous that he dodges. Can't dodge those.
this match sucks. I can't do enough stress to his other characters. This is this is so awkward. Like it just makes zero sense. At this point, the flagellant is just existing. Oh, going first sucks. That really sucks. Not being able to choose my flagellant first. Um, I have to go for this. If I get a crit... That's the third crit he's done with a repost. He doesn't have that much crit chance. It's like 25. Maybe 26. And that's the third one he's got on. Yeah, there goes his stress again. it would hold up to anything that isn't what I have right now. I'm gonna have to go with <laughs> He keeps creating my crusader. Like, no tomorrow. I think that's been like four crits in a row. He's just gonna clear that stress. Oh my god. Number five hundred. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Oh my god, that's probably the worst affliction I could have gotten. Purely based on the fact that a crusader can stun the characters that he uh, act out attacks. Does just enough. Oh my god. Why won't you die?
I wish I was playing a normal team. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna bring damage next match. Please don't do 4. Okay, at least that. At least he doesn't do 4 damage. Okay, well, you should be dead now. 5 years later, it's turn 18! Oh my god! So I have the wrong skin. Wait, I have everything wrong. Why do I not have the cool flagellant skin? I've only noticed now. Everything's wrong. <laughs> Am I gonna change card? <laughs> I guess. Bleeds. No. Come on, resist. Yeah, we resist. Let's go. Red wins on. Oh, he's gonna lose his repast. Oh, I've had a really good idea. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. I heal myself and I don't even have to change my guard. I can bring the stress back up. Mm, just enough. I uh, think. I'm gonna have to change my guard or endure a death blow. Chance. Please bleed. Also, we didn't get a bleed on the Hara Man. Unlucky. At least we got it on the Crusader. DVS is me for 6. 80% protection. 6 is way too much. But yeah, that's just the way it is. Well, the question now is, what the hell do I want to do? Do I not guard anymore? Or do I guard the Crusader? Or do I just go for stress? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no clue. But I think the correct decision... Maybe to just go for stress. Turn the pressure up to a hundred. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna try to heal... Or something. It doesn't have the finisher. 25. No! This is no place for the it's a 25! It's not fair. It's, it's extremely unfair. God, he gets a 25, man. Really? Never should have that happened. 
That's that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm gonna lose this match because of that 25. Complete bullshit. He has a 50-50 of stunning my MEA. Oh, he goes for the stress seal. Yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna go for this. Nice crit! 45% virtue chance. Here's to hoping he doesn't. <laughs> and fury. Nice. More destructive than a hundred Nice. That means he could stun the highwayman. That would be such a victory. Fuck! He gets a crit. That's enough to make me go afflicted. Paranoid. That's also really bad. I could try to stun someone else. Oh, it lets me go for a death blow. Not yet. How am I gonna kill this hammer man? I have no fucking clue. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god. <sighs> he might get the stun. He does. Oh yeah. Ooh. Is he gonna try to stun me? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna try to get a bleed on him while I can. Because I won't get another chance for a while. No, because he has no repose while he is uh, like that. That 80% protection. That's good. That's really good. Uh, yeah, he's gonna heal. Alright. I see. This is gonna be one hell of a close match. Like, really one hell of a close match. This reduces damage. And that stress. More dust, more ashes. Alright, this has to be one of the closest matches I've ever played. It's 10-27. Not dead yet, man. He's gonna run out of reposts. <gasps> <laughs> he does it again. Please tell me I'm recording. I am. Oh my god. He did it again. Eight heal. Gets to save his ass for a bit longer. If he tries to heal now, a punish might kill him. Oh. With his dying breath. Oh 
maybe not his dying breath yet. Oh my god. Another inspiring cry. Well, there goes the freaking affliction. Gone out the window, pretty much. I have protection. I do. The reveling throne demands portion. choice because I'm gonna bellow do you see what I mean if I can kill him with a bellow I would like to looks like I'm not gonna be able to so hopefully we do six damage <laughs> yeah that's six damage all right Doesn't the game end at round 40 or something? Oh, he's, he's taking lethal damage. Here's the thing though. My man doesn't have retribution. So this is gonna be weird. As long as the corpse is there, he can still can still get his repost. Well, you have to go for death low chances already. Should I keep guarding? That's the question. Yeah, I should. I need to exhaust my man at arms death flow thingy. This corpse, uh, that's the problem. The freaking corpse, man. Man at arms exhausted, I have no more healing. He definitely does enough damage. Bellwing is like doing nothing pretty much. Oh my god. So close, man. Jesus. That was one of the most intense matches of the Butcher Circus I've played. GG.